on the hot seat here. These are not easy. I mean, they're coming out. I'm coming out left field to you guys. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Jason Rector. There you go. We see. I don't think I've given you, Jason. I want you to sell. I want you to sell me the most important uh, import expensive imported Japanese Kobe steak dinner for five hundred dollars, just for the steak. It's a five hundred dollar imported Japanese Kobe. You know they raise these special cattle in Japan, up in the northern part. They actually take these cattle, they feed them beer, and they massage them every day. Well, not a bad way. Not a bad life for a cow, right? Or, or, or even any of me, man. <laughs> you know? right. Okay, sell me, sell, me, and sell me that right away. We've never spoken. Uh, you got my name off uh, Epicurean list. I love, I, love, I love steak. I love going out to dinner. And you found my name on a list. All right. Okay, R ring, ring. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, hi. This is, uh, hi, uh, Claude. This is Jay my name's Jason Richter. And uh, just wanted to... Uh, See if you're interested in. Uh, can I ask you a couple questions about food? Uh, oh, well, maybe. Okay, off the role play. What's the pattern interrupt that? What's the best pattern interrupt you could ask me right up front? Someone help him. What would be what would be a really great pattern interrupt to ask me up front? Why do we eat, ladies and gentlemen? Because we're hungry. Hungry. What kind of food do you love? Because we're yeah. hungry. Yeah. Go ahead. How do you sell bottled water to somebody in a marathon? You don't have to. Just hand it to them. You say, you, sir, you look thirsty. Would you like the best ice? Imagine drinking this icy cold bottle of water here. Quench your thirst. Quench your thirst. Oh, refreshing. You'll feel great and everything. Or, or, water. Boom. You sold it. Go ahead. Hungry. Use the word hungry. Delicious. Something like that. Or just ask me if I'm hungry. Ask me a question. Are you, Claude? Are you are you are you hungry I'm right always, now? I'm always hungry. I'm hungry 24/7. I get up at two in the morning and make peanut butter sandwiches. That's how hungry I get. Uh, do you like a good steak? No, I I don't like. I love a good. Love steak. a good steak. But, I, but I'm really picky, man. I don't like. I don't want these cheap chuck cuts. I want you know. I don't want one of these grizzle burgers or anything. You know. Well, after, 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 we've got one of these, but one of the, we've got a, what's called Kobe beef. And it's, uh, it's, you know, it's one of the best steaks you could possibly uh, eat. Um, yeah, I'm really on the hot seat here. I'm at a, I'm at a <laughs> lost words. Steve Zobro, <laughs> Steve Zobro, step in, yeah. stop me that steak. Hey, Claude, Steve here. Um, do you like steak? Love you enjoy it. steak? I love steak. Love it. I love steak, man. Awesome, man. Have you ever paid quite a bit? Of, have you ever paid between three to five hundred dollars for, for a nice, beautiful steak that these cows actually they get massaged and they have beer around them and it just have you ever had paid that much money for a nice um, beautiful cut of steak? Uh yeah, we went to that uh, Gallagher's in New York City. I think it's in I think it's in the where is it in uh, Brooklyn. And uh, oh my God, by the time we were done with the wine and the sides, and it was like a six, seven hundred dollar dinner for me and my wife. It would, it was amazing. So does your wife like steak too? Or she was she enjoy a beautiful cut of steak? Oh, uh, she's the kind of person who goes to a steakhouse and orders the salmon. You know what I mean? Oh, she's she's <laughs> a salmon woman. Okay. And she's the salmon woman, you're the steak guy. Yes. Okay. So do you like wine with your steak? Oh God, who doesn't? Okay. So imagine having a nice, cold, beautiful glass of wine with a wonderful, nice piece of steak, medium rare. Could you see yourself eating that? Would it kind of like coming through your mouth and tasting it in your taste buds? Would that taste very good? Would you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. Off the role play. Now incorporate Guts 2.0, the smell, hearing okay. the sizzle, seeing it on the okay. grill, the chef and everything. Put it all together and close me in 30 seconds. Okay, just imagine what it'd be like, Cod, as they're basically taking that steak, it's on the grill, you smell the steak, you're in the back, you're in the front room there, you can have the people with the steak right next to you. The wine is nice and cut, the, they, they got the wine, they pop it open. You wouldn't be interested in having a wonderful glass of wine with an awesome piece of steak. Uh, What's that say? What do you think? I've never had Kobe. What does it taste like? Is it, uh, you know, is it, is it? Great question. Thanks for asking it. I'm glad you asked that. It has a certain type of taste to it. 
that once you taste it, it just goes right through your lips and into your mouth and down your stomach. It's like, oh, I want some more of this. So it's so if we if I was able to supply that for you with the steak and the wine, you wouldn't be interested in paying about five hundred dollars for that, would you? Uh, you know what, uh, man, you've made. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, um, uh, do I have to pay it all now or or half now or? I mean, yeah, you great, got me. You got me. Great, got great me. question. Whenever you go to a restaurant, don't you normally have to pay for it when you get done eating? Isn't that usually the the part you 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 buy it, you eat it, and you pay for it? Is that what oh, you yeah. do? But okay. you called me up about this steak dinner, and you sent me okay. some pictures and everything. I didn't know if I had to sure. pay now or not. Okay. Yeah, we liked it. Do you have a credit card that I could? Perfect. I'm yeah. ready. Here you go. For one, okay. two, three, four. Got it. There you go. Nice going. Did you see? Uh, did you see Steve incorporated the smell? Hey, could you smell it coming off the grill? Did you hear the sizzle? Because the, the grill is right in the middle of the restaurant there and you can flip it over and he seasons it with this imported Australian sea salt and a little pepper and a little, a little garlic. And oh my gosh, and it's just sizzling and you smell and, and then it's gonna come to your table smothered in onions and fresh mushrooms with a little side of asparagus and a touch of hollandaise, hollandaise sauce. And then you, you bite into it. See, that's, that's the kind of, that's what's Guts 2.0 is. 